Hello, my name is Alan and I'm the owner of GoThru and in this video we're going to talk about the blue lines on Google Street View and the differences between the two types of blue lines that Google supports. Basically, um, Google has two pipelines and when I'm talking about the pipeline, that's how Google can ingest data. And one pipeline is where Google receives individual panoramas. And uh, another pipeline is where Google receives a 360 video and then they extract from the video the individual panoramas. Um, for example, the Google Street View car is using the second pipeline uh, yeah, where they just create a video and so they try to replicate that for the Google Trusted uh, community. Now, each pipeline has its own advantages and its own disadvantages. So let's go ahead and explore. Like this particular tour was shot uh, using um, the um, uh, individual panoramas pipeline. And if you right away, we, we notice that we cannot jump over multiple panoramas. So that would be one disadvantage. Uh, the second is we notice that there are no license plates uh, that are blur in this uh, particular uh, panorama. Also, no faces are blurred in, in here. So that would be the second disadvantage for uh, publishing via the individual panoramas pipeline. Uh, now, let's go uh, and see like what would be the advantage. Now, uh, because this tour is like, like a normal tour, basically like a business tour, each panorama has its own place ID, uh, panel ID, sorry. So, because it has a panel ID, you can connect a business to a blue line that you've created. So. Let's go ahead like it, and in uh, in another video I've created uh, I've explained about this process so how to connect multiple street view tours with go through so if you check this video you're gonna see how you can connect two videos uh, to two uh, tours so that would be about the individual tours now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, uh, a tour, the blue line created via the 360 video pipeline. So we notice that we can jump over multiple panoramas. So that's nice. Um, and another feature is that we the the license plates and the faces in this uh, particular uh, tour are automatically uh, blurred by Google. Now, this is created from a video. So Google does create a, pla a, a panel ID for each panorama, but we cannot use that panel ID to update it and link it to a a business that we might have on the side. So mm, that would be the disadvantage of, of having a video, uh, a blue line created with, uh, uh, with the 360 video pipeline. Um, one thing uh, regarding like a few questions about blue lines that uh, photographers are, are keep asking me is are these uh, panoramas going to replace Google uh, Street View? Uh, the problem is that no. If there is already an, a Google Street View in a particular uh, place, then Google will choose their Street View. And you will be a, only be able to um, select to, to reach your uh, your blue line via the timeline so in the, yeah this is shot by google in 2018 and this is shot 
uh, by a photographer in 2020. Uh, so that's one way. The second way is by just drag and drop uh, the Pac-Man on the street. And uh, the third way is if you use the embed uh, function to uh, to create, you know, to, to embed this on, on a website. So those will be the advantages and disadvantages of uh, creating blue lines via uh, the individual uh, panorama pipeline and the 360 video pipeline. So whenever you want to create a blue line, then make sure you, you select uh, the pipeline that, uh, that works best for you.